Okay, today I installed a graph on my kayak. And I just want to, I figure I'd just quickly go over how I did it and why I did what I did. First of all, uh, battery is not attached. We'll go over that in a second. Uh, this is PVC, a uh, piece of trim that we used in the house that we don't need anymore and scrap, but I can't throw it away because it's like $2 a foot. I mounted the PVC onto the kayak. And the reason for that is then I've only got to do um, screws one time. And I use stainless screws, uh, pre-drilled. Uh, I, I use this, I highly recommend this, Loctite Marine um, sealant. It's not, a, it's, it's, a, it's not just a, um, like a, like a latex or a silicone. Um, it's meant to hold things together, and it does a fantastic job. So I put a layer of that down, and actually because it's curved, I put a bunch underneath here and a bunch underneath there, and uh, and then put the screws through it and, and let that dry, let that uh, set up. Um, I came in afterwards, and I put some more up underneath here, backside too, um, as many points of contact as we can, and this is on here. This is on here very well. Why did I do that? Why not just mount this right in there? Well, that would work for a while. This is the, the highly respected, I'm kidding, Garmin Fishbinder 240. Very pixelated, yeah, but I turned it on and it worked and it shows temperature. And that's all I want to know. I want to know depth and I want to know temperature. I'm not trying to mark fish. Um, that's not what it's for. If this goes bad, I can take off this mount, which by the way, this mount is mounted just into the PVC. I don't puncture the integrity of the, uh, or violate the integrity of the kayak. It's just going on the PVC. Same idea for your boat. You've got that, uh, um, or you should have a plate on the back that you mount your transducer on. You don't, you don't go into the hole at the time. So if this goes bad, I just pull this off. I mount a new one on and uh, a new bracket fits the new fish finder and we're off and run it. Okay, so that's why we that's why I recommend you do it that way. The next thing is, is I used a low profile battery and I'm gonna put it here. And I don't know how I'm gonna mount that exactly. It's either gonna be Velcro or I'm just gonna tape it on here every time. Just do a good electrical tape. Um, I plan on keeping this on all the time and I put the nose of this into the truck so it should be well, pretty well protected. This will go on afterwards. As well, and here's the, here's the power cord. As will the transducer, and the transducer, this is something I bought, and I can't tell you about it a long time ago. Um, it's going to mount on here, and actually it's going it to mount this way. It's going to mount this way, and I want the side to be touching the kayak to give it stability. So you can see the black line there. I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to take this piece, I'm going to set it on top of here, and I'm actually going to mount onto the top of that. But that's going to be a, that's going to be a, another thing I carry down. This will be detached. So this will be on here semi-permanently. You know I mean, I'm, I'm, I plan on having on that on all the time. If I put it in storage, I'll take that off. The bracket remains. And that should make sure I know which way to go. So I'll leave the bracket on. Um, for storage, but in and out, in and out of the the lakes as I'm as I'm hitting a couple spots, or if I'm gonna keep it in the truck or keep it around where I'm gonna use it in the in the near future, um, I'll keep this on there. But uh, but that's it. Oh, and how many spots? I did uh, four. There's one underneath here, two, three, four spots that it was connected. The threads don't actually draw it in here or there, but they are all the way down. Um, but I'm I'm really relying on this adhesive. Loctite Marine Adhesive Sealant. It's fantastic, super hard, works great, a little bit of flex, um, and it's waterproof so you don't get water into your hole. But that's it. That's going to uh, help me uh, help me help you figure out some lakes, figure out where we're at in, the, in terms of, of water temperature and the spawn, and uh, hopefully you can, uh, you can use some ideas or maybe stimulate some ideas, and feel free to leave those in the comments. And, uh, and thanks for watching.